Emergency Peralta 17124. Do you need police, fire, or medical? Uh, fire, medical, bad accident. Where at, Rainbow, sir? Rainbow Spring Valley South. Okay. Were you involved? No, no. I'm. I, uh, I live in the house on the street. There's a lady screaming for help in a uh, Lamborghini. She's trapped. And there's a vehicle on fire. I need medical four six four six. Um, is it just the Lamborghini involved, or is it? No, there's another vehicle on the Muller Road that's in flames. And so two like, cars are on fire? No, one car on fire. Lamborghini is uh, up on the curb. The Lamborghini is the one on the curb, not on fire. Correct. Uh, it looks like uh, one of the people pulled from the Lamborghini um, is unconscious. And you said you don't know if that person is conscious? I have no clue. I know um, the lady screaming at him, talked to him and whatnot, but I'm not sure. How many people are you seeing out there, sir? Uh, so I'm seeing two from the Lamborghini. Uh, I'm going to say one from the uh, SUV. He seems to be the one who's yelling and cursing. Uh there's a couple other people walking around and uh, one security guard. Uh, I want to say the Lamborghini was probably speeding. I mean, I heard loud you know, revving, yeah, loud noises, and then a big collision. And, uh, okay. we got several officers on the way in the fire department as well. Um, okay. In the meantime, is there still a vehicle on fire, or has yeah, it been extinguished? No, it's still on fire, and it's okay. popping. It's, it's what now? It's popping. Like, popping. stuff is exploding from it. Okay. This is Rainbow Boulevard right here in Las Vegas. This is the street where that accident occurred, where Henry Ruggs ran into the back of Tina Tinter. About 300 feet from where I'm standing at right now, that was the area where the moment of impact occurred. When he was driving his car, he was doing, according to the computer of the car, he was doing about 156 miles an hour. Now, they estimate at the moment of impact, he had hit the brake, so the airbags deployed when he was doing about 126 miles an hour. So, about 300 feet from where I'm at, right in the, I'm in the middle of your screen I'm marking it that's about the area where the impact occurred and it pushed her car about 500 feet so her car was right in between the third and fourth lanes Henry Ruggs's car according to the video you can see this utility pole right here he would have ended up right about here and when you see the uh, video of the cops of their uh, body cam when they're coming up to the scene they're driving from that direction, coming northbound on Rainbow. 49 arriving, we got to block the intersection. Anyone inside the vehicle? I don't know, I don't, I can't, I don't, I can't hear it. Control, 449, the vehicle's completely on fire, we cannot tell it. Hey, who was in this vehicle? I 
no, at this time, it's completely on fire. Actually, we can't hear you. We can't wait until they put out the fire. I, I love somebody from your name, but this is getting run right here. I see getting run right here, bro. It's been right here. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. You can see this utility box somewhere in that video. And her car, right where this rest in peace is. See that on the ground right there? Her car was right there. You can still see the burn marks. I want to wait until traffic passes by. I'll get a closer look of it. You can see right there the burn marks. That's where the car was sitting at when it was on fire. It melted some of the asphalt. You let me know what worser way there is to die. There's not many. Burning to death in a car. Both Tina and her dog, Max. And she was screaming for help as she was burning. And by that time now, the fire had probably burnt through the third layer of her skin so there was probably she might have you know I hate to say this because I probably sound pretty stupid saying this but I'm pretty sure that the nerve endings were burned gone and she was just screaming but you're, you're still alive and you're still on fire and after the pain dissipates that is uh, that is unreal that is absolutely unreal. You know, I, I keep I keep saying this. It, it's it's one thing when you're sitting in your it's you know when you're in your house talking about this. It's totally different when you're here. I tell you, I tell you, it's, it is different. You can't you could talk about this and be five thousand miles away, but you, the the feeling. The feeling of being right there, absolutely unreal. I cannot imagine the agony that her and her dog were going through. That is... And she was out that night because she had hung out with a friend. They went to a dog park. That is absolutely unreal. And that bastard, as the recording of this video, he just got sentenced about three days ago. He got three to 10 years in prison. <laughs> Excuse me. 
three to ten years in prison. Three to ten years. Even if he did the maximum, that's only ten years. Wow, he, you know, I, I tell you, some people, uh, uh, some people say that the justice system is very dependent on your color. Well, I tell you what, the only color that mattered here was the color of the amount of money that Henry Ruggs had to buy his way into a lower sentence because there was no defending this. He had a lawyer that tried to have this thrown out of court. Not, excuse me, not thrown out of court, but throw his uh, blood test out of court because his blood test tested 0.161%, which is twice the legal limit. And he tried to get that thrown out of court. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I don't know. You guys tell me. <laughs> Did his color really matter? Because the only color Henry Ruggs mattered to the court was that it was that almighty, almighty green color. Yeah, that's the most important color on this planet, kids. I'll tell you right now, until I'm in the dirt, that is the only color that really matters. Right there.